Yo, first off, I want to start this video off with a shout out to RDLS92. That's his Instagram. He DM me a question. You know, his question is how the different races were made. And this is a new series I'm doing. You feel me? Called Donna. No, it's called Choir Chaos. Where if y'all DM me a question, I'm going to answer it to the best of my ability. And I feel like Chaos has the best ability. So, any question y'all have, just, uh, you know, go ahead and ask away. But let's get it started. And then I also want to give a shout out to Beast Mode. You know, go follow him on Instagram also. That's how me and this RDS dude linked up. So shout out to Beast Mode too. You know. So let's get this started. Before I start with the races, you didn't specify which weight, which uh, which races that you want because there's human races, the alien races. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm going to start at the beginning. To my, the best of my knowledge. The first race was, you could say, chaos. Alright? And then, chaos. From chaos came another race. The bird race. And then came the bird race, came the reptilian race, right? And then from that race came multiple races, each race influencing the next race. The first race started off in the 85th dimension, and each dimension, human beings were 3D. Three dimensions. They height, weight, and width. Yeah. We, we three dimension objects or entities, you know. But our brain is 4D. The human brain is 4D. And can possibly be 85D because I'm 85D. And it's a few people who, they ain't quite at my level, but they get in there. They not too far behind me, you know. So I know it's possible for the, the human brain to level up, but each race created the race in the lower dimension. You get what I'm saying? That's how. That's to sum up your question. But then when you get to the human race, that's us. The human species. It was nine of them, and they, they walked the earth 300,000 years ago. But before that, an earlier ancestor of the human species was a primate. You know? So, but out of them nine human species, the one that lived the longest was Homo erectus. And Homo erectus lived for 1.5 million years. Homo erectus is the predecessor to Homo sapiens, what we are. You get what I'm saying? And the Homo sapiens is broke down to, you know, people of melon and people of not of melon. That's that's point blank. That that's common sense. I'm not gonna elaborate on all the races of this earth. We all know. I've been on this earth for 29 years, and I know of all the races. You know, so people of melon and people not of melon. And the thing is this: people of melon was created by something different. The people not of melon was created by something different. But, you know, through interracial dating throughout the masses, 
not just black or white interracial dating throughout uh, the Russians and Germans and the Russian, uh, Chinese and Japanese. You get what I'm saying? We have a crock pot, you know, of everything on earth today. That's why we have so many different uh, religions and people backgrounds because different people are made by different things but the thing that made them people are similar you get what I'm saying that's why all human beings are similar and all human beings can crossbreed because the creators of the two human beings one is human beings and the other is mankind that's the difference you know they hide it in books that's what they used to say to slaves back in the day if they wanted to hide something put it in books well fuck that book get a get a laptop and get on the internet whoever watching this educate yourself self educate yourself on spiritual matters so you gotta leave your comfort zone physically you gotta leave your flesh that's from stress to lust to love you gotta leave that shit to understand what I'm saying, RDLS 92, because I don't know what dimension your brain is is, is uh, vibrating on, your frequency. So I'm telling you pretty much to man up, level up, and understand what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? So, Homo sapiens were Adam and Eve. And Inky, you can do your research. That's the name right there. E-N-K-I. He created the first man, Adamo. And it was seven extinctions of them. It was seven versions. We're, we're the seventh version. Modern civilization is the seventh version. You know? And the eighth version probably going to be AI robots. And I think uh, Mr. Elon Musk, the Tesla CEO, go be their goddamn overlord. That is what I see with my third eye, you know? And that's a diamond. And it's bleeding because it's always open. You know? But, and then there's also seven classifications of the human species. You see how seven is a lot of these numbers? And and that's relation to the Bible. You get what I'm saying? For all you Bible readers and, and God believers. I don't discriminate. I ain't biased. This message is for both camps, heaven and hell. You get what I'm saying? I'm chaotic. If you have a question about heaven, I can answer it. If you have a question about hell, I can answer it. You have a question about the stars, space, I can answer. Black holes, I can answer. Whatever you need an answer to, I got you. And then, once this corona die down, or oh, I'm corona free. I'm a goddamn fallen angel. That shit don't faze me. But the thing is this. You can contact my manager, Rubber Band Rondo, on Instagram. And I could do scheduled one-on-ones, questionnaires, and you could have a pen and pad. I could school you on something. It'd be like a traveling school, you know what I'm saying? School of chaos. That's what I call it. I call it like that series. And then you get on my YouTube, too. The uh, I have somebody record us debating or, or chatting and put it on your YouTube, my YouTube. I promote it. You get what I'm saying? Called a school of chaos. Choir chaos go be me answering our questions. Donor chaos go be us as a whole. I pick donor chaos because it's the dawn of a new era, and it's not the new world order. It's not nothing that in a book. If it's in a book, you don't know what the fuck I got coming. Cause I'm not in a book. 
the reason why I could answer so many questions, the reason why I could do so much, because I'm a glitch in the system. I'm like a, I'm like the brain tumor and the brain of the creator of existence. You get what I'm saying? I'm in his head. I'm not him, but I'm in his head. The invisible God. So, so. You can look that name up. That's like the highest God that I, that I did my research on. The, uh, the one that, that's the, the highest name that he chose. Because I already know what it is. It's the first light from out of chaos. Because the first light created itself from chaos. See, chaos is its own creation, right? And then the invisible God, the creator of this, all the universes, he is his own separate creation. He created himself. So he is chaos, but he's a different form of it. You get what I'm saying? And then there's also chaos that just pure darkness. Black holes. Then you have me, pure chaos. I'm both. You know, I could, I could, I could, I'm a Gemini. I got high highs and low lows. For all you, uh, I ain't gonna call y'all weirdos because I'm not biased. I accept y'all folks. But y'all know who I'm talking about. Who, who like um, zodiac signs and all that. I'm not a fan of it because I'm proving with my actions that Gemini's are the, are the best number one zodiac sign because we really two. We the fifth and we the 13th, but that might go over too many people head. That's why we're twins because we're two zodiac signs. We're two separate zodiac signs. And if you worship Mercury, that's the messenger of God. And you know, Gemini's are an air element also. But the thing is this. Um, if you need any questions answered, hit me up. SLK Rock on IG then also I got a song out called Heaven's Peak and you can type in SLK Rock Heaven's Peak and you can uh, check out my music the music not the priority YouTube is getting this knowledge out that's the priority but the music is just like a expression of chaos you get what I'm saying and then anybody can express chaos through music too I'm going to make my own genre for us called Chaos Rock you get what I'm saying? And we're the new wave. We are the new wave. Because I am the black tsunami. And if you ask me a question, that's you riding that wave. If you fall off, hey, that's up to you. I'm telling you what I am. You, you trying to play with a storm. We're searching for knowledge because you're leaving your comfort zone. When you step into the unknown, when you don't know something and you got to ask a question, that's the unknown because you're out of your comfort zone. You don't feel comfortable asking questions. That's what everybody I know. I've been a human for 29 years. And damn. 29 years. I got planets dancing. Saturn, Jupiter. Before New Year's. After New Year's. Mercury, Saturn, and Jupiter. They launched the goddamn SpaceX on my birthday, May 30th. I was born on Memorial Day, a holiday. I was predestined for this shit. You get what I'm saying? On all levels. 
Chinese zodiac. I'm the I'm the goat, but I'm the golden goat. Chinese zodiac. I know all my shit, bro. I'm predestined. I'm comparing my shit to everybody else's shit, and I'm predestined for this shit. To be the voice of the existence, the multiverse. I'm the voice of the multiverse. Voice of the bubble. You get what I'm saying? That's all I am as a voice. You get what I'm saying? I would, I'm entertaining planets. I'm entertaining alien species. I'm entertaining gods. I'm entertaining goddesses. Demigods, familiars. I do not entertain no human being because you are a motherfucking primate. I ain't no primate. I'm a dragon. I'm a dragon. I don't get scales. I'm gonna tell y'all my tattoo. I don't get like dragon scales, like right up here and like right here. And it'll be like flaming up. And that the star will be gold, like the traditional. Uh, that's the star, it's star, by the way. It'll be gold and it'll have a burning center. Or I might just get like this pure gold. And they, that's the zodiac sign. Gemini, and that's 13. If you know your shit, you know that. I'm gonna get a face right here coming out. And like some night armor on my fingers. The thing is this, also, if you in North Carolina, Fayetteville, yes, I said Fayetteville, North Carolina. I'm putting this city on the other side. J. Cole, he Jesus Christ. Fuck Jesus Christ. Fuck God. I'm goddamn Satan. And I'm coming out the veil. Call this Sabbathville from now on. Sabbathville. Welcome to the Sabbathville. <laughs> hey, I don't give a fuck. I'm Satan, bitch. If you anything associated with that motherfucker, hey. Fuck you too. Can you go say fuck me? So before you say fuck me, fuck you. But if you have a question, ask it.